All right, this is not a an NFL story per se, but I'm curious to get your take on what would happen if this was an NFL coach. And, and we'll, sure. we'll go through yeah, the, we talked about this the before, dynamic yeah, a little bit yeah. first. Steve Sarkeesian, uh, the head coach at Southern Cal. I call him Southern Cal. He's gone, That's apparently. Fine. Possibly. No, no he are, he's, uh, at the time of this, he's officially gone. He is, has been terminated. This is the day after he was uh, sent to rehab, uh, sought treatment uh, for his alcoholism. And I think there's going seeking to be seeking treatment. Yeah, yeah seeking yeah. treatment has it's been delivered into a treatment plan. Let's put it that way, as we understand it. We're we are having a, a discussion, a debate, and I think other people are too about whether or not this is actually going to be legal, about whether his alcoholism is going to be recognized as a disease. Uh, supposedly, this was something that was happening while he was at Washington, and then came over to Southern Cal, and uh, he they they may not be able to fire him legally. That that remains to be seen. My question to you, and and you can get back to Sark if you want on the, on the college front. If this was an NFL coach that had a problem with alcoholism that was showing up to meetings drunk, is this something that would have been as public as it is with probably one of the the, the five or ten most popular college football programs in the country? Absolutely. It's in this day and age, it's impossible to keep this stuff under wraps. Okay, because it wasn't a DUI. I mean, there's no police report. Uh, there's no FOIA. Still. You're right. The, no one can do a FOIA and stuff like that. Right. Um, some teams do it, but like, okay, could it happen in New England? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not insinuating anything about coaches. Like, uh, no, sure. See, all you need is a couple of people that want Sark out, and they'll this this stuff. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, if like, USC's uh, five and zero. Oh, like, this isn't happening. Trent, um, what is it? Uh, oh, geez, is uh, not Trent Belke, who's now running the front. Uh, Scott McLuhan is now running the Redskins. And yes. there, there was some kind of thing in like Seattle, and I don't even know the particulars of it, uh, of that he was battling the problem or something like that. I don't know if they fired. Like we, we did not prep for this um, before we started talking. This is about very this. impromptu. Yeah, this is impromptu because we, but at the time we're recording this, we just found out that he was uh, that yeah, he a couple was hours ago. Um, I, I think it would have trouble getting out because the, there's always there are always someone that's gunning for your job. This isn't like a Miss America beauty pageant. But there's always an assistant. There's always an assistant general manager that has their eyes on a bigger job. Yeah. And it would be if they don't like this person, it would be impossible for this stuff to not get out. That kind of thing. Belichick. I think he'd get away with it. I think he, I think Belichick could snort lines off the podium <laughs> at his presser and and not get called out. For well, it. you know, I I don't know how they do it. OK. And so I can. Th- these people are human beings. It is completely natural for when the world is down on you and things aren't going well to need a release. Okay. I'm yeah. not condoning it. I'm saying it's, it's absolute human nature to do so. And I completely understand, but you have to, the, you're, you have to be professionalism. Okay. I would never come to an sporting event covering it drunk. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, I, I, I would expect people that are in charge of people, especially young men, 18 to age, 18, to 22. It is your responsibility to be above that. If you want a regular life yeah. where you can just be a big party guy and stuff like that. No, you can do that. And any lines and no one's going to care. But unfortunately, and fortunately you're being paid. Well, you're being defied as this kind of subject. Yes. Because, um, and this isn't really NFL. This is more college, but you're being paid handsomely. It's in most States, you're the highest paid, State employee in that state. On that state. You're being paid to be above it all. And it's one of those things where it's almost like being famous, where you got to trade in your fame. You, you lose a lot of things, but you, you got to rise above that and be that. And uh, at the NFL level, I'm sure, I'm sure coaches and players need a release on Sunday when they fly, get back from a game or if they win it. But you got to suck it up and be, and be ready to go the next day. You know? Gary Moeller was another guy. Michigan. That was an incident. A dr- um, here's a funny thing. But that cost him his job. It was one incident. I was living in Michigan State at the time. I was right. a student. I've never heard the audio of that. I'm not one of those types that needs to run to something and see it. Like if, sure. if we had awful announcing today or kissing CZ Colbert, I mean, that would be like the their headlining thing for a week, that yep. kind of thing. Right. Um, I don't know if that makes me a good person or a bad person. I don't know because I, I'm not turning a blind eye to it, but I don't. I don't want to see people at their worst. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. No, I think there's a bit of decency to that. The, and, and the Apple phone leak. Remember that several months ago? Uh, with the... The Jennifer Lawrence and all that. The 
Uh, yeah, I'm vaguely familiar. It's yeah, got yeah, a, yeah. it's got a really catchy nickname. I'm trying really hard to not say okay. on the show. But I mean, stuff like that. Like, yeah, I mean, you got to be a very good person, do I think, to 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 not, no, I'm not look at that. My, I'm not a Quaker. Okay, I am not. That's some not what kind I'm saying. I didn't call you. A Quaker. I just don't want to see in people at their worst. And I think there was so much hubbub about it that you know, I I've never seen the video. I've never heard the audio of the of the two separate instances we're, we're referencing. And yep. you know, and we you know. A lot of time has gone since this, and yet I, I still can't talk about it. Because I try not to – I don't want to see people at the worst. I would hate if someone ever videotaped me being drunk after, like, having a Saturday bender with friends watching football. Sure. That would be horrible. But now, uh, technically, we're public figures. Might do you a little press, a, though. We Might... put a, we, well, we put ourselves out there. Technically, Tudis did that, figures. put out that picture where he was, like, you know, getting loaded with the – some mask. Yeah, but it's one thing to drink. Like we had a picture taken of me, you, and uh, Knox Bardeen. Yeah, at, at, but it was a like, still picture. Yeah, they yeah, got it. Right. And uh, I was booing the picture for some reason. I can't re- remember why. Uh, but uh, I would. You were we're, we're kind of in the public eye, but we're not in the public eye. And so, like, I, I try to respect people's privacy on that on that kind of stuff. And obviously, Gary Muller getting drunk at a restaurant that and someone recording it that that's public venue. Um, a girl uh, ironing naked in her hotel room that is not public. No, agree with that. 